And if I see it's not directly above this ladder, then I'll jump. If I see it's like off to the right a little bit, then I know it's not going to get me, um, you know, I'll have time to get the hat and then jump over. So I'm looking at that fireball of them. It's like a quarterback looking downfield at the safety. So, um, so go ahead, next screen, sir. So what I did is I went and got the hat, jumped. You have to wait till another platform comes up. But then you jumped up here, and I just went and got the is that the per oh, that would be the umbrella up there. So all the prizes are worth eight hundred. This is level six though. So once you get to level high enough, so I jumped to another <laughs> screen. So this is actually a different elevator, but eight hundred is the maximum for all these prizes. Once you get to level, I don't even know what level starts maxing out. Anyone know? Level five? Three. Level three? Three, it goes there. I should know those things, right? Yeah, you said. Okay. Um, so I've got the, hand, uh, the umbrella. Now I'm going back onto this platform. Now this is one of those tricky places. You don't want to get pinned between this bracket and this. Yeah, you hit your head. Yeah, you got to be careful. Now your hat can actually go through the bracket a little bit. Just a little bit. There's a little bit of a buffer there, so you can you can actually uh, have it go through a little bit. So next screen. So I got safely onto here. Uh, if you're having troubles getting this jump in, I'd probably go down to this sec uh, platform and do this jump because it gives you more time mm -hmm. to get to this position. All right. Here's where. How many of you can do the long jump? The one where you go super here, jump. then you jump here and then go to this. Now no. this one's a little harder than this. This is the one I always go on, but that's the long jump where you take it to this platform. I miss every time. Okay, is that where you have a problem with the timing? Yeah. So you need to be able to master that because on the third elevators, these springs coming down are, are tough to navigate through these bottom platforms. But it can be done. It just takes time and waste points. So I'm waiting for another platform to be in position so I can get on it and jump to this platform. Now it's possible, how many of you have made it to this one? How high does it have to be up this for, right yeah, here. for you to jump to get that jump? Um, it's tough. If I were to jump now, I'd be, I would hit my... my You'd hit your head or something. Yeah, I would, I would miss it there. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's, when it's a still frame, I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell when it's a still. Yeah, so, but this one, does anyone do that routinely? Like, that's their way they always do it. That's my kill And never die. <laughs> now, so that's, that would be the next ultimate point. For, I mean, I know that there's players that do it, but to do it routinely, and that will give you another couple, point, hundred points if you can jump to this one because you get, you know, getting up there faster. Right. But I'm a safe player for the most part. I'll do, I'll do that. So go ahead. All right, so... How many think I'm going to die? Probably no. Yeah, I mean, it you're, looks like it. you're going to completely miss it. But I actually are, I'm okay. I remember I took it from a, a screen and I cleared. So I'm, it looks like I'm going to go right into it, but I'm actually going to make it. Really? Yeah, I actually made it. So go ahead, next screen. Okay, so I got on there and then I jumped onto this platform. And you can see sparks fly off his feet when he hits that platform. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> It always flies off his feet, even if he just jumps a little bit. Burn the rubber. But it's funny to see the sparks. All right, so I'm on this platform. See, I've avoided all these springs that come down. If I were to go the other way, I'd be going through here yeah. and see I have potential to be killed with a spring. And then you have to go up here and hit that same area where the springs are coming. So there's two points where you would be in trouble. Now you've bypassed all of that. And I don't know if the... Does, does anyone know if the designers intended to have that long jump possibility, or is that just a, a happy accident? I don't know. Do you know? I think it's bald. Happy accident, and they, someone discovered, the testers were thinking, let's try to make it here. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, probably they knew about it, I would imagine. All right, next screen. Okay, I went up here, and here's where, if you're point pressing, there's another, here's where I will go over here. On the first couple elevators, I'll move and get the purse. And then there's a fireball that you can attract and then do the Kong jump. It acts just like the rivet board. You jump in the air, 
and you can get 100 points. And sometimes this fireball will sit there and just be still frozen. If you've seen it, those fireballs, when they behave that way, they sit there. So you can jump that for like 800 points right in a row, then it will move back down. It will it'll go back and up and forth uh, between this platform and this platform. And that's so you kind of can milk some more points out on this screen with point pressing. So you only, do you only do that on the first elevator? You can do it on the second or the third. The third one doesn't, since the timer is going down so fast, it doesn't pay off as much. Okay, and then if you don't have the fireball here, does anyone know what other obstacle you could jump by standing here? The spring. The yeah, spring. the spring. Yeah. yeah. So the spring will come down, and right about shoulder height, when the spring gets to shoulder height, you jump and move your joystick in the air. It will give you a hundred points. For you the can spring. die there too. Pardon me. You can die there too. Yeah, I've died before. <laughs> if you don't jump at the right time, I'll run into the fireball or fall. So the spring. You know, you have to, there's definitely some danger there when you point press. All right, next screen. Next screen. You oh, broke it. Screen, sorry. Okay, so I went back here, and here's where uh, one of the safe places is. See, I jumped this fireball for a long time. So I'm down to 400 on the bonus. So I'm going to have to make some haste here because I'm going to run out of time. But I can wait here, and now I'm going to look for a, what I call, there's a difference between a long and a short spring. Now I'll show you, there's a point in the screen where, where I, I have the spring in contact with this girder. So I think it might be the next screen, so go ahead. Okay, here is what we call a short spring. So there's the short and there's a long one. A long one comes out on the right side of this gold bracket. So the short spring is when I make a, a, a dash for this safety spot here. So when it hits about at the timing, I don't move, leave when it's here. But that's the spring I make a move for to go to this position because it will fall short of this other safe position because it's shorter on the screen here. It will actually, if I can do the drawing with the laser, yeah, it will draw. It will hit about right there versus if it's a long spring it will be out in front more this direction. See the difference? And then that way you can get a better jump to this safety spot if you wait for this spring. So I wait for that one. And the springs bounce different, don't they? The, between the um, two I've ones? never noticed that the heights are different. Once they come out, their their trajectories are going to be different because of the, the way they enter the screen. But I think the height is not the, any different. Hmm. I haven't studied the height of it. There's a space where they the springs bounce the same. Yeah. I have to watch this kid. You mean there's a there's a space where there's no, always the same. Do you want to point that out real quick? Just point. Uh, just don't aim in anyone's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's probably on the first elevator. Oh. First elevator. Yeah, all the, the first same. elevators are just spaced. They come out longer period. It takes. There's longer time between each spring. So that may be the difference. But so here's where I'm making a dash towards this second safety spot. So. Okay, you can sit here all day, and the spring will actually go halfway through you. You can be in a position where it will... Hit your nose. Like, yeah, hit your nose or your back of your head. So here's where I'm waiting for that uh, long spring. So I talked about the short spring where it hits about right here. The long spring is one that comes out in this area. Now that will give me the best jump if I want to go right. If it comes out long, if you follow my marker, this thing will land further out this way. And you go in the second bounce, right? So I go right when it hits, so it hits the screen here, and then right when it hits, boom, that's where I run. On the okay. Second, when it hits, contacts the ground on the second time. So I, I think the next frame will show his nose just got 